Hi, and welcome to our video from a four-night tour of Norfolk in England. And the idea is to give you a little bit of inspiration should you wish to tour this beautiful part of Britain. And why not subscribe and click on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future travels. And in case you don't know, the county of Norfolk is in the far east of England and our journeys will take us from Great Yarmouth to Norwich onto Cromer and along the North Norfolk coastline before popping into Kings Lynn and the Queen's Estate at Sandringham. Let's start with Great Yarmouth. And so you know, this was originally filmed in May 2017. And some of these locations have already been covered in more detail in some of our earlier videos. But this is an abridged version of the trip with some additional content thrown in as well. And I'll pop up links to the original content so you can catch that if you want to later. But now back to Great Yarmouth. And as you can see from driving into the town, it's a very traditional seaside resort. And as you can see, it's blessed with a beautiful golden sandy beach. In fact, a golden mile. There's also, as you probably expect, a traditional pier or two. And you're probably expecting to see donkeys on the beach. Well, there you go, donkeys on the beach and the other pier. It's a great place to visit if you like a little bit of nostalgia. It has a very retro feel. And what better place to enjoy fish and chips. Oh, and of course, you can't miss the arcades. Think of what you could do with your winnings. So with our nostalgia boots full, it's time to head on to Norwich. And as you can see from the drive in, the whole of the area is relatively flat. So it's no surprise when you come across a windmill. As we arrive at town, we come in alongside the River Yar, the river that leads all the way down to, you guessed it, Yarmouth. And this is the River Wenson that sneaks its way around Norwich and leads into the River Yar. We're taking in this view from Pools Ferry, which is an ancient crossing with its own 15th century Flint Gatehouse. And if you turn around, you can see Norwich's ancient cathedral. The precinct and the cathedral itself are certainly worth having a look around. Another area not to miss is Tombland and take a stroll up Elm Hill too. You're probably getting the idea that Norwich is fairly historic. In fact it's played a key point through numerous times in history. In fact it was once the second most important city in England. On well, keep an eye out for the signs for the Norwich 12. Not a notorious group of bandits, but 12 key buildings that represent different stages in the city's history. And Norwich Castle is one of them. So old and stuffy, or quaint and charming? We think it's quaint and charming, and we'll be back. So after a glorious couple of days in Norwich, we head off towards Cromer, but we don't take the direct route as that's only 23 miles. We head via Roxham. We chose Roxham as it's one of those quaint little places that sits on the broads, a series of waterways that span both Norfolk and Suffolk. It's from here you can take day trips out on the boats or hire a boat yourself. There's plenty of options. I think one for next time.
The roads around here are beautiful, so the ideal destination for a road trip. It also gives you a chance to go a little off-piste and create your own adventure. So our next stop is on the North Norfolk coast for a cheap little ice cream while taking in the sea views. The whole of this region is renowned for its beautiful golden sandy beaches. Another reason to visit. And now the short drive into Cromer. And at times this place reminds me of driving through northern France. Another Norfolk coastal resort, but this one is so, so different than Great Young. Still beautiful golden sandy beaches and a skyline that goes on forever. What's missing are the arcades and the donkeys. This one just seems a little bit more quaint, a little bit more elegant. Somewhere to perhaps promenade. I and mean, what better place to promenade than on the pier? And boy, does Cromer have a beautiful pier. was our home for the next two nights and it made an excellent base to go out and discover more of the North Norfolk coastline. So let's have a look at how we spent our day exploring the area. The coastal route gives you plenty of options to stop and we made our first one the town of Sheringham. Okay then, confession time. It may have had something to do with the Heritage Railway, the North Norfolk Railway that runs from Sheringham. A touch of nostalgia for a time that I never knew. Now really, I'm not that old. And now it's back on the road again. A 
and next stop, Wales next to sea, turned out to be a great place to have lunch and a great place to get out and stretch our legs too. There's more to this road trip and I'll pop up the link to the video in the corner so you can catch that if you're interested. When we reached Hunstanton and Old Hunstanton, this was our key to turn around and head back towards Cromer. After we'd had a little look around. It's easy to see why this part of the world is so popular. Look at those beautiful sandy beaches. Are you tempted yet? So I'm not going to take you all the way back to Cromer. We're going to fast forward a little and head on towards Kings Lynn. So here we are, arriving at Kings Lynn, and a rather pleasant surprise. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but there was bundles of history and plenty of quaint old streets to explore. We just loved our time here. Now this could have been our final destination and we were on our way home but there was one further place we wanted to explore the Queen's Estate at Sandringham It's just 8 miles outside Kings Lynn so it seemed rude not to traditionally spends every Christmas here, but during the summer months it's open to the public to visit. There's two separate tickets, one for the house and one for the gardens. It's worth noting though that only part of the house is open to visitors and there's no photography or video allowed inside. That said, it's still very much worth visiting though. So that's the end of our tour. Four nights, five full days, and we were left wanting just a little bit more of Norfolk. Hopefully we've inspired you to have a look. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Stay safe.